so few films that come out in Hollywood today with the pedigree of this film, the expectation that have such an incredible ensemble cast mm -hmm. of black actors. What mm -hmm. is it like to be a part of that cast at Ooh. such a high level? First of all, I'm letting you know I just got goosebumps by you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably see me if you zoom in. <laughs> um, but uh, I feel like that's extremely powerful, man. And just, just even to be in that, uh, that lineup mm -hmm. of of what's coming in, you know what I'm saying? Because we look at our OGs and we look at Will Smith and Denzel yeah. and we admire them so much, but we know that we're gonna have to come in and, and try to do something just to keep that alive. So just to be considered as one of those is just, that's amazing yeah. for me. It's just to be working that, with these guys. It's important that we, you know, we, we tell our stories too, you know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. or be a part of telling our stories. And, um, you know, we just happy that Catherine really trusted us to, to tell it too, yeah. you know, um, we came on set you know, sometimes we would look for more direction. She was like, no, dude, how, how would you say it? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what the script said, but how would you say it? How would, cool. you know, how would you guys move? You know, and, um, and I, I thought that was really, really interesting from her to really just sort of um, want to know more about the, you know, our culture and how, yeah, we, how we move yeah. and how we walk and how we talk and you know, <laughs> certain, yeah, our certain yeah. slangs. And, and um, that, was, that was a beautiful thing to see where we, we were having dialogue about it. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think because Catherine Bigelow is the only female to ever win a Best Director Oscar, she, I mean, she absolutely stands as a minority in her field, was she the mm -hmm. perfect director for this film? Mm -hmm. I think, man, I think Absolutely. so. I think, I think so. that no one could have told this story in the same way that she did. Yeah. And she told it very, very real mm -hmm. and very gritty. She didn't pull any punches. Um, and it shot. It's shot like a war movie. Like you're there. Yeah. yeah, it's shot. It's not stylized. It's not like painted up and dolled up. It's like life as it happens. Like you're you're watching this documentary style, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's something that she's kind of mastered. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's there's something to be said about how great she does it on this film too. And you know, I think I think at the same time, just to kind of piggyback off of that, it uh. To see the two worlds coming together, to see Catherine's world and, like you're saying, to see so many black actors' world come together, those two completely different worlds. And so I feel like she's the perfect person to do it because she's, she was so open to it, but also she brings a whole new crowd. It's right. not a black director. It's a completely different crowd that have watched mm -hmm. The Hurt Locker, that has watched uh, Zero Dark Thirty, right. that knows the work that she does. So. I mean, on that note, you know, in the theater, uh, obviously as a white journalist mm -hmm. in a very diverse theater, mm -hmm. I felt this tremendous amount of like guilt, social responsibility mm -hmm. for the history of this country and mm -hmm. just, you know, it's such an intense film. Yeah. Between takes, was there that level of tension on set just by the nature of the content? Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely, there, there was a time that we yeah. talk about, uh, where we, were, we were in the hotel, the annex, and um, we were shooting a scene and one of the cops, Will Poulter, he broke down into tears yeah. after this, after, during the scene, yeah. not even after, during the scene. And, Everybody was just like, oh, snap. And he was really yeah. crying. And it was yeah. just like, he was just like, how many more times do we have to do this? Yeah. And so him, you know, that coming from him was just like, wow, for me. Right. It, yeah. And that, that's the first time I've seen, like, literally everybody emotional. I mean, yeah. you got camera, like, holding the camera, just, like, trying to keep it together. Trying to and, fight tears. Like. And you got makeup, grips, and all, you know, all the people that make the movie really come to life behind the camera just in tears. And uh, it's, it was a, that was a hard day. Yeah. It was a, probably one of the hardest, and um, but, but being in that motel, that's, that that those are the first. That was the first thing we shot the, in the, wow. against that wall. First, first two weeks, weeks. Yeah. so we got mm -hmm. straight to the point. Mm -hmm. And the thing mm -hmm. is, like, what we're pushing for in this isn't necessarily guilt. Right. <laughs> that's how you felt. It's just understanding, man. Understanding and community, because I mean, we we all need to come together and like talk about this issue, because it's not just a a black issue, a white issue, it's right. an American issue. And like, just the fact that you, you felt something when you watched it yeah. was great enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we want. Mm -hmm. We yeah. want empathy and we want understanding and we want to bring a voice to, to some of the stories that didn't have one before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of quiet at the end of the film. It's the same quiet at the end of Zero Dark Thirty. When you walk out, you almost feel like you can't, there's not much to say. You yeah. can't breathe almost. Um, so last question is kind of a silly one. What's the, what's the song you sing in the shower? When no one's around, the silly is the kids. Like the, it's your dream karaoke song. I just had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you the shot. Today, uh, it varies, man. It varies. <laughs> I was probably singing some Young Thug in the shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Completely okay. different from Detroit, but uh, yeah, it varies. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm singing. I sing songs all day though, so it's just like I don't. Right. I don't know. It's I think it's different being a. 
I don't know. I guess she's singing in the shower. Wait, you, know like, what <laughs> you know what I sing in the shower? <laughs> oh, girl, you're my, my, my. My, 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 my. Yeah. It's my song, my kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much. I really appreciate your thank time you. today. Thank, thank you. you.